Okay, good morning. What I have here is a Boulder Tools heavy duty tire repair kit. I bought this off of Amazon. The reason why I purchased this was because I am always getting flats on my car and I'm getting tired of going to these tire shops that put really crappy plugs and patches on them that don't work. And of course, if you go to the tire shop that you bought the tire from, they're gonna wanna replace it because they design, I'm convinced nowadays that they design the tires to puncture in the non-fixable areas. So they're never gonna have the flats in the area where they claim they can fix it. They're always gonna have the flats on that sidewall or wherever. So of course, uh, after my third or fourth flat with the rainy season, and I finally went ahead and purchased this. So the reason why I purchased this kit is because there is specifically, uh, I used to go to Walmart and I bought the regular tire repair kit that had the two tools to go ahead and uh, insert the plug into the tire as well as expand the hole to clean up the hole so then the plug will fix. Uh, I believe it's the Goop brand. The thing is, is that that doesn't work very well. So I needed something a little bit more. So they say that this is professional grade right here. And they're gonna give you the instructions right here. And right off the bat, you're gonna get a lot more than you're gonna get with the regular Goop brand tire repair. So you have your tire gauge, which is great. You're gonna have your knife with the blade already in it to go ahead and make your tire repair to cut off the end of the plug once you put it in. And uh, there we go. Gotta be careful with that. You have the needle nose pliers, which is a really good addition to have. And then finally you have the main tools themselves. So you have the sticks, which is good. Uh, so this is the actual material that's gonna plug up. Now in a typical tire repair kit that you'll get at AutoZone or Walmart, you'll only have this, this, and this, but you won't have any of these. But we have all these tools, plus you get a lot more. So this thing's ready to make some money. Uh, you have here, it looks like you have an assortment. So it looks like you have long stem tire valves for 18 wheelers, short stem tire valves, uh, caps for vehicles. You have hex wrenches, you have, uh, chromies, you know, in case you want to get fancy. Uh, it looks like you have some other stuff as well. Oh, look at that. You actually have the freaking, um, the plug, the, uh, the inner, uh, valve stem itself. If you want to go that far with it. Oh, you know what this is? This is a valve stem tool. So you can actually replace the valve stem if you had to. I don't think I'm going to have to get this deep into it, but finally you have the tool tools itself. You have the, You have the device itself that's going to put the plug in. This is heavy duty and this is a lot better than what you get with the Goop tool because with the Goop tool that you get over at Walmart or O'Reilly, you're just gonna get a very plastic handle. Instead of it being metal, it's gonna be plastic. And then you're gonna get this tool itself. And the Goop tool actually, it's barely serrated, but not really. But it's one of these deals where uh, you know, you stick it in and good luck. You know, the last time I used it, the goop tool, the plug almost came out of the tire multiple times. So it wasn't really that much fun, but this is professional grade because you can stick it and then you can tag it and then you can pull it out and you're good to go. So that's a really high quality product that I think is going to see a lot of life. And then finally you got the tire stabber. So the whole point of this is you're supposed to stab the tire where the plug is at or where 
the tire has the blockage or the flat or the device that's oh my god um you're supposed to stab the tire where it's flat to get the nail or the debris or whatever that's actually causing the flat and then you're supposed to use the serrated edge and kind of work it in and out to clean the hole and make the hole slightly bigger so you can put the plug in and then finally you have to seal it I'm not going to open this. I think it's going to be pretty dirty and nasty if I do it. You're just going to have to take my word that this is kind of like the rubber cement that's going to adhere the plug to the tire. So then that's it. That's all you get. So uh, we'll try that on my car because I do have a flat. Thank you.